Hello, and welcome to the Lotree Fix AI tutorial. Now you only need one program in for the tutorial, and it is highlighted right here. Artifactory can be googled for quick download. L6 Tails would be used for an example throughout the lesson. It was not mandatory, but you could use it for quick pacing. L6 Shade will be our example. She has no AI at the moment, so we will use her in order for the tutorial to happen. Let's start by opening up Fighter Factory and loading up the person that you want to add the AI to. Go to the command tab and scroll to the bottom. Then open up the Elfix Tails folder, open tails.cmd on the notepad. On the tail CMD, scroll down to where it says CPU1. Copy the code along with all other CPU code numbers and paste it underneath the player's command tab. Lastly, scroll upwards on the TelCMD file to where it says the AI trigger. Copy and paste the code into your person's command tab above their normal attacks. Re rename the variable number if desired. Let us review. The attack's main CPU all has large input so the player is not able to turn on the CPU by mistake. Since this is an AI tutorial, it is advised to have one with a small code so that you can test out your CPU before actually putting them inside your game. The AI trigger states that if any CPU commands are pressed, a variable is turned on stating that the AI is turned on. Make sure the variable does not match any other variable in your code, or if it did, the attack that started that variable would also turn on the AI. Now that we have a base AI, let's code some attacks for it to work with. For this example, I am going to code Shade to fire a projectile when she reaches a safe distance from the enemy. First, find the code in your person's tab that has your attack. Copy the code and paste it right under the original one. Place the input trigger with this code. Lastly, type in this code here. Let us review. This code states that when an enemy this far away or further, Shade will fire a random shot at them. The higher the body distance, X, the further away the enemy will have to be. The higher the random number, the more often she will fire. It is advised to keep the random number at a reasonably low number to avoid making a cheap character. The code we just made can be used as close range attacks as well. First, find the attack you wish to A at the AI2. I will use this close in attack for example. Copy the code we just made and paste it under the code we wish to add the AI2. Replace the state number of the posted code to match the state number of the attack we want the AI to use. Replace the greater sign with a less than sign and change the X body distance to a more suitable number. You can also make the range the enemy can stand in by replacing the X number with this code. It makes it so that the attack will happen when the enemy is within the area. Even airborne enemies can be targeted by adding a body distance Y. 
Smart AI can defend themselves with this code here. It states that when an enemy is doing a basic attack, to go into blocking stance. Change this state number if you have a different move in mind. This code can be used for deflecting projectiles. Match this move with a move that repels or avoids said projectile. Now that all basic attack and defense codes are covered, let's wrap things up with AI combos. First, go to your person's CNS folder and locate the state of the first attack. Copy the code, paste it in the bottom of the CNS file, making sure that it is placed above any negative stack. Rename the state number at the top of your new code. And replace the change state of your new code with this one here. Head back to the command tab and make a new AI trigger for the state you just made. Last, copy the state of the next attack in your combo. Rename the state number and replace the question mark area under your last code's change states with the number of your newly posted code. Repeat if desired. If you have your combo in with a pop-up attack, you can make the change state with the number 50. That way, your person will jump with the enemy, and you can make AR combos as well. This concludes the Electroid 6 AI tutorial. I hope you can put this info to good use and make even better fighters.